Hello, Style.com. My name's Philip Colbera. I am the head designer of the Rodnick Band fashion label. Today, I'll be doing an exclusive interview with the philosopher Alan de Botton in my London studio. Alan, welcome to the studio. Thank you very much. Pleasure to have you. Um, so just as a sort of quick question to sort of get the chat started, what has what has excited Alan de Botton about the world of fashion? Has he had a mm. chance to look through and see the work of designers, etc.? Um, I really got really interested in, in fashion the day that I saw um, a Chloe dress that Phoebe Philo had designed on a beautiful woman and who, who I knew and I was friends with. And I just thought, this woman and this dress are working so well together. Fashion isn't just some boring thing that I, as a bloke, you know, am not interested in. Actually, this is, this is art. This is fantastic. And it just sort of set me thinking. I'm fascinated by the connections between clothes and other things. Why should clothes be seen as as I say, something separate, something cut off from the important themes. I think, you know, as a philosopher, you, you should have an interest in clothes. You know, why not design the clothes? Why not have quite advanced views about how people should dress and what that means? This is all part of the good life. Yeah. Designers have been a victim to a sense that design uh, and, and clothes design is frivolous and is cut off from the important themes of society. Um, there's a view that this is just about prettiness and prettiness is not serious. Um, I think it's very important to realise that the aesthetic realm how things look, how people look, how buildings look, how, what art is like, is, is part of the good life in the broader sense. It's not cut off from it. Uh, and in the perfect world, um, designers would be seen as one part of uh, a, a giant attempt to create a good society. They're not, they're not just sort of off in a corner doing some sort of pretty stuff. I'm personally, from a design point of view, interested in the idea of designers being able to reinvent their, their, the idea of making clothes and how people see that pro process. There's a huge opportunity for um, fashion designers to excite their audience by revealing a little bit more about their processes. Um, I think manufacturers in different industries are starting to realise that people love to know how things were made. Um, uh, Volkswagen, uh, a couple of years ago, opened a factory in Dresden where their feet and car, you can see it being made. Um, and it's fascinating because the windscreens yeah. go on and you know, normally you don't see this. Um, and some companies, you can just see it in their branding creeping in. Still, there's an illusion that people don't want to know. It's dirty stuff. It's not dirty stuff at all. It's fascinating stuff. People want to know. People want to see people at work. That's what they're fascinated by. So um, I think there's absolutely space for designers to capitalize on that and to go, look, you know, this beautiful dress that I've made, it didn't just you know, come from heaven. Uh, it was made in this way. This is how I designed it. This is where I thought about it. Here's the person who stitched it up. Here's a you know 82 year old woman in Paris who does lace in a particular way, and she's put it together for you. Uh, and you know, come and meet her. And I think this will add hugely to the enjoyment of uh, products and also to the sense of community because we're all connected through work, through products, and uh, it seems a pity to, to lose those connections. How would you sort of see fashion, aside from the sort of the reflection of, of society, almost the actual artistic content in and of itself? Fashion is, is definitely an art. It sits with the other arts. It's closer to cooking than architecture in the sense that it's more temporary. Clothes dissolve and, um, and, and break apart fairly easily, which is, is a big, big factor. Um, so that's why I'm saying it's a bit like food. Um, and, uh, and, and, and I think that's a challenge for any designer, the ephemeral nature of what they're doing. It's going to go. But it's like many beautiful things. You know, it's like the beauty of women uh, and men, but I'm more interested in the beauty of women. It, it fades, it passes, and that lends it a poignancy uh, and an intensity, um, like an English summer's day. You know, you know you're only going to get a few of them. Uh, and uh, so there's nothing to despair about, but it's something that any creative fashion designer has to, has to be aware of, has to sort of deal with inside. Alan de Botton, thank you very much for joining me in the studio today. You've shed a lot of light on the aspects of fashion that otherwise might be unthought of.